so I wanted to have like a bigger thing this week that I had planned out, but I, um, I, I've changed it a little bit because I feel like this is better. So I was just going to cover like the broad sense of lake monsters, right? Uh, welcome to my neighbor Mothman. This is it. Is the show? Uh, I'm Levi. Uh, so I was go. I was going to do that. <laughs> <I'm> Zachary, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> I was going to do that, and I was like, no, let's get like a theme happening here that's less broad. So I stuck with the lake monsters. Uh -huh. Um. And you did sexy lake monsters. I have the Ogopogo, the Egopogo, and the Manipogo. Sounds like a theme. Uh -oh. I'm recovering the Pogos today on My Neighbor Mothman. I almost spilled this all over myself live on camera. Perfect. I, I was sitting here real confident with it like this, mm -hmm. and this spell would have been here. So would have just, or just yeah, just you would have got water all over you, just like the, like yeah. I did. <laughs> mm -hmm. Except I'm wearing a gray sweatshirt, which is in frame, so yeah. you would have seen it. <laughs> and I also would have panicked. So rather than just going, oh no, yeah, I would have gone, yeah, your computer would have turned on. Oh. oh no. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Yeah, my whole computer just falls over. <laughs> God like damn it. Kool-Aid man busts through the wall. <laughs> hey, Kool-Aid. Oh, the laundry's done. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So let's start with the Ogopogo, because that's where we start with the naming convention. Ugh. Let me pull this in front of you. Oh, wait, no, then you guys can see my, my Wikipedia article. That I that I pulled this from. Um, so, Ogopogo is Canadian uh, Okagan Lake in British Columbia, right? It's a it's a big snake monster that lives in a lake. Oh 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 man, I'm so I'm so parched and thirsty. My camera's flipped. <laughs> <laughs> what are you drinking, that, Zach? That's not because of the taste. It's because it's lovely. <laughs> I inhaled it. Because he doesn't know how to drink. <laughs> <laughs> I'm drinking a, a delicious citrus burst. Oh, Ooh. I too am drinking a delicious citrus burst. Oh no, it almost fucking killed me. <laughs> <laughs> I was inhaling too hard trying to get the bubbly noise. So I, I have to I have to distract myself and this immediately. Yeah, I, from the distraction that I've caused. From, yeah. So I uploaded uh the last episode as a video podcast because we can do that now. Um, onto Spotify. On like Spotify? Yeah, Spotify. The last one should be a video podcast, but I haven't. I like I couldn't go in and add the background music and do the stuff that I normally do, so I don't know if I'll be doing that moving forward. I just thought it would be a neat little. Show it to me. Neat little experiment. Show it to me, Spotify. Oh God. But, um, all right. So, Okagan Lake, which is where the Ogopogo is. I just want to say, Oka you did mark the last one explicit. I did, yeah, yeah, yeah I did. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if any of the other ones are marked explicit. Some in season so one. Someone's going to see that and they're going to go, oh, oh. <laughs> they, must, they must get a little wild this week. <laughs> uh,. <laughs> Okanagan Valley, British Columbia, uh -huh. uh, named after the people from the area. 
uh is it's a, like it's a it's a ford like like fj ord and it's got so it's like a lake with like cliffs all around it a can's dented in the yeah mapping. it happens the wrap the wrap on it oh the wraps got dented is, oh no well no, no no it's like dented in the wrap is like Oh, you get air it's space. Like right, it's right on the corner of the the wraps. There's mine, some air. <laughs> mine dented just below the spout, like where you sip from. But that's I think uh, more of a shipping thing than anything. Because those UPS drivers are rough. Yeah, they are. I was, I moved my microphone over in the direction of the litter box because mm-hmm. there was a cat in there just oh. beating the shit out of the door on the litter box <laughs> for no reason. Ooh. <laughs> hide, hide, hydrate, break. No, oh. oh. <laughs> it's six o'clock. I should not be drinking caffeine. Yeah, I know. I know. But I, that's good why. Bit though, huh? Yeah, it's a good bit. It's a good bit. This is going to be a real good bit when we record at like 9 p.m. one night. That's our odd one today. Oh yeah. Mine were mine were fighting earlier too. Well, we just got curtain rods for the nursery. Oh. And there's there's in a box back there. And someone just ran into the box. So it sounded very expensive and yeah. bad. Just a lot of <laughs> clattering and clanking. Mm-hmm. A lot of metal on middle. Yeah. Yeah, it's a All good right. one. Tell me about the Ogobos. Yeah. The Ogopogo. Um, so, I have sightings here. Uh, Susan Allison in 1872. Oh, her? She's a good friend. Was the uh, first detailed Ogopogo account from a white settler of the area. Uh, the first non-native person in the, to live in a region. Uh, I bet they lost their fucking mind. Yeah, right? Absolutely terrifying. Um, another was from 1968. Art Folden noticed something moving in the lake. He pulled off the road, filmed what he claimed to be footage of the alleged creature, showing a large wake moving across the water. Uh, what was this? This was in 1968. We have that footage. We probably can. All right, you um, keep reading. Yeah. Uh, Fol- or Folderson estimated the Ogopogo was 300 yards offshore. Computer analysis of the footage concluded it was a solid, solid three-dimensional object. Uh... Folden noticed something large and lifelike in the distance out on the water, calm water, and pulled out his own movie camera to capture an object. Um, in 2005, there was a Nat Geo show that, uh, that tried to recreate it and concluded that it was likely a real animal, but it probably wasn't as big as he thought it was. Oh man! Oh man! Yeah. Yeah, I'm looking at I'm looking at a video from 2019. From 2019, let's see. I have yeah, I have three sightings from September 2018, uh, described as a giant snake about 15 meters long. That is what this creature looks like. It's a sea serpent kind of thing. Yeah. Uh, 2011, a cell phone video, uh, with, but it looks like there was a lot of logging going on in the area at that time, so that could be part of what's going on there. Um, so from there, we're going to move on. All right. We're moving on to the Ego Pogo from Lake Simcoe, Ontario. 
Um, it's just one to one. They named it based off of the other one that already existed. The other one. Yeah. <laughs> it's it's the next lake over kind of thing. Oh, it's okay. not. It's not. But it. But it is. Uh, yeah. It, it, you know. Um. This one's in. This one's in Ontario. That one's in British Columbia, kind of thing. I don't know how that works. Yeah, it's fine. I was just saying it, and we play all it's along. Can- it's like Canada. we understand how Canada works at all. <laughs> Poutine, right? Oh, oh. yeah. Like, uh, uh, what is that again? Uh, it's French fries with gravy and cheese on it. Oh, it's the yeah, it's the, it's the, the gravy. Yeah. The gravy. Um. I, just real quick, I'm looking at a map of Canada. Mm-hmm. They're on the opposite sides of Canada, correct? Yes. Yeah, that's. <laughs> Quebec is. Oh, Discord just updated. <laughs> Discord just Welcome updated on its own. <laughs> I was just like, oh man, he just really doesn't care, huh? Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> the whole thing went like gray, like the Discord background gray. <laughs> it just, it just, it gave me the noise that you left. And I was like, podcast over, I guess. <laughs> My end uh, was just yeah. me like panicking. <laughs> Perfect. Uh, yeah, Quebec is like above Maine, and uh, British Columbia is above like Washington. Yeah. So those aren't close to one another. Yeah, it's fine. Oh, Show me the lakes. Let me see the lakes. We don't. We don't know nothing about the Canada's. Lakes. <sighs> yeah. Um. So Ooh, lots of lots of lakes in Canada. Lots of lakes. Lots of gla- glaci- glaciers uh, melting. Mm-hmm. You look you befuddled. Well, I clicked on the image. Of the lakes and rivers, mm-hmm. and it's asking me to pay for this image mm. on a site. Teachers pay teachers. Oh, don't worry though. Honey has got a uh, coupon for it. <laughs> you should tell them to just let you have it because you're not a teacher, so you don't have to pay them. Hey guys, <laughs> please. Um. It's so, in stock though, don't worry. Oh perfect. Perfect. <laughs> we'll get that. We'll, we'll charge that to the company card. <laughs> <laughs> it's just my chase card. <laughs> um so descriptions vary. Uh roughly gray seal like animal. Mm, here's the issue, right? Anywhere between 12 to 70 feet long, you know. Oh, yeah. Real quick, back, back on the first one, 15 meters is 45 feet. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's big. Mm-hmm. So 12 to 70 feet is 12 to 70 feet, you know, just a little, little 12 to 70 footer there. <laughs> um... Most like dog, horse, seal like head, which traditionally you would see like a yeah, like a horse head on like a sea serpent with teeth and shit, I suppose. Uh, Prominent eyes, gaping mouth, dorsal fins and a fish like tail. Uh, Most alleged sightings describe a similar looking creature. Um. Another witness described the creature as having two long antenna, four octopus-like arms, three pairs of legs, and six gill-like appendages with feathers. Can you see what I'm looking at in my... I can't exactly... Well, I went to Google how how big 70 feet is. Mm Mm-hmm. And when you type in 70 foot into Google, the first auto response is shark. Oh. So of course I clicked yes. Yeah, you don't like the oceans. So why would you go that route? 
because I was terrified that there was a 70 foot shark that they had found. Oh, no, no, no. Don't be silly. No, it's it's just it's just people talking about how big Megalodon is. Yeah, we should probably do a Megalodon episode at some point because that seems like a neat thing to We'll wait for Shark Week. <laughs> this one's name is Edith. Oh, did I tell you about the year that I got drunk every day during Shark Week and tried to force myself to watch Shark Week to get over my fear oh, of sharks? No. But it didn't it didn't work. I just had nightmares about sharks every yeah. night. Yeah, that sounds And they try they try and say, Oh, this one can jump in the air, it's not scary. No no no. Yeah, it is. The... It can jump in the air. Yeah yeah. They're those are also mostly in Australia. Don't care. They can jump in the air, Levi. <laughs> We're gonna we gotta go to an aquarium and like and let you pet uh -huh. the baby sharks in the tank with the stingrays. Mm -hmm. Yeah. With the, mm -hmm. in the they horseshoe don't let you do that right now. Uh we went to the Columbus Zoo and they were doing it. Well, that's Ohio, so Yeah. Well, they they got it worse off than we do. <laughs> yeah, because they're in Ohio. <laughs> that's true. That's true. Get it. You got. Take you that, got nerds. Take that, Nick. <laughs> um, the first alleged sighting of the Ego Pogo was in 1823, while tending sheep. David Souls uh, reportedly saw a long creature leaving a wake in the water and a trail in the mud. Uh, another major sighting took place in 1952. By four witnesses, um, one of which was the chief of the Georgian First, uh, Georgian Island First Nation. I don't know what that is. Uh, it's probably a Native American tribe. That's that's what I was thinking. Yeah, especially being in the this First area. First Nation. Yeah. No. Um. Another similar sighting, long neck in the 80s, chasing it, but it could have been a school of fish. It was on, like, the sonar on a boat kind of thing. Um, and from here, we go on, right? So, Manipogo is this next mm -hmm. one. Uh... Similarly, uh, there's the Winnipogo, as but these two lakes, like I'm Winnip guessing that one's in Winnipeg. Win no, this one's in Lake Winnipogus. These are in Manitoba, Canada. Uh, is Winnipeg a real place? Yeah. Oh, okay. The Jets play there. They used to be the Thrashers. Uh, <laughs> That's the only reason I know that it exists. Um, yeah, big jets. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, maybe I think they're bad. I think they're bad at hockey, just like they were in Georgia. <laughs> they're twenty four, twenty one, and ten. Oof. Oof. They Oof. got beat yesterday by the Dallas Stars, who are thirty one, twenty, and three. No Stanley. Lots of draws. Lots of draws for the Winnipeg Jets. Yeah, it's hockey. They, they it's, do. They do have a cool logo though. Yeah, yeah, it was cool when it was the Thrashers too. <laughs> um, so they consider a lot of people consider the Manipogo and the Winnipogo to be the same creature because their lakes are connected. Uh, uh -huh. Described as being thirteen to forty nine forty nine feet long, because <laughs> of course we have. Uh, Breaking it down that specifically, <laughs> forty nine feet. Yeah. Why not just say fifty yeah. feet? Thirteen to forty nine feet. You know, I could. You know, we're not giving or taking here. It's definitely between these two ranges. And I just click, clicked the oh, Windows okay. key on my keyboard, and you got blocked. Not me. I'm turning on gamer mode um, on my keyboard. And it's d it's described as a long, muddy brown body 
with humps that show above the water and a sheep-like head. Ugh. Why do people go in the water? Because there's stuff to do. Sometimes it's hot and the water is nice. I can't not convince not hot you. enough. I can't convince you to like water. <laughs> They've tried. People have tried. Yeah, I was say, there's no way I can. <laughs> exactly. I have a pool. Come swim at my house. There's no sharks in my pool. Yeah, right. That's what that's what someone with a shark in their pool would say. That's, that's just because you're friends you with think. the shark and you know he's hungry. You know he's hungry, and you're telling me there's not a shark in that pool? I know there's a shark in that pool. There was a made-for-sci-fi movie about sharks that were ghosts. and uh, I think we talked about this on the show before. Yeah. And they could jump out of puddles. Yeah. <laughs> yeah any, we've any talked, we've definitely talked about water. it. Yeah. <laughs> it's such a bad movie. Oh, it, it, oh that... I dribbled some water on my sweatshirt. Oh, no. <laughs> I definitely that, did do that. Uh, ice spiders and Mansquito are the three worst, like, made for sci fi movies I've ever watched. Mansquito, of course, got renamed to Mosquito Man. And Ice Spiders is a fucking nightmare. A retired Olympic skier. Works at a ski resort in the mountains of Utah. Dr. April Summers is working on creating a new breed of spider. Why? <laughs> There's enough of them. Have you seen Eight Legged Freaks? No. Well, I don't like a, spiders either. That's a good spider movie. It's not if you're afraid of spiders, though. No, you know you know that uh, scene in like the first Harry Potter movie with the spiders? Oh, yeah, they're a gog. Yeah, 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 yeah. Turned it off during that scene. Got scared. Didn't didn't try and watch him for like six years. Hey, there's a spider lady in in Lord of the Rings. Also, then I won't watch it. Sometimes, here's the thing. Here's the thing. Sometimes, sometimes she's sexy. She's just a sexy lady. Sometimes she's somewhere in between. <laughs> It depends on who's that's, writing. That's the how Demon of it. Slayer got away. Demon Slayer got away with it because they made their spider lady super sexy. Yeah, named Shelob. I don't know the one from Demon Slayer. But yeah, sometimes just a big spider. Sometimes a f regular lady. <laughs> um. There is a yearly Manipogo festival. Uh, the first week of March. I, I love that for them. That's right now. It was just the first week of March. They just had it. It is the first week of March. <laughs> it still is. Yeah. It's Saturday that we're recording this. So go check out the uh, remnants of the Manipogo Festival. Yeah, if you're, if you're uh, a Canadian, go do it. I've got sightings go. here. Mm -hmm. Go. Go. Oh, no. <laughs> uh, 1909, uh, Hudson Bay Company fur trader reports seeing a massive creature in the lake. 1935, timber inspector uh, and a friend saw the creature. Uh, it was on... Uh, they said they had a, a single horn on its head. Uh, and looked very much like a dinosaur to them in 1935, whatever 1935's image of a dinosaur. They knew about is. dinosaurs. Yeah, I don't imagine that they like. They definitely didn't know what we know. Jurassic Park wasn't even out yet. Right. Land Before Time hadn't even been written. Oh. <laughs> Did you see Land Before Time? The T Rex news. No. Turns out, Tyrannosaurus Rex might be three dinosaurs. <laughs> it might be three dinosaurs. Because we just kind of mash bones together a lot of yeah, the time. Hey-ho! <laughs> 
and that that's what happened we sh mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah so that that happened uh turns out yeah it might be it might be three different dinosaurs i feel like one. every two weeks they come out and they say hey guys we don't know shit about dinosaurs yeah that's i wish i was still as in into dinosaurs as i was because this is the best time to be into dinosaurs yeah. Me as a little kid right now would know fucking every dinosaur there is. But unfortunately, when I learned them, there were like 16 of them. <laughs> <laughs> and when my mom knew them, there were like four. So, like, it's n nothing I learned is useful anymore from dinosaurs. Outside of the uh, sitcom dinosaurs about the live-action dinosaurs. I have every season on DVD. Of course, <laughs> of course you do. <laughs> um, uh, lots, lots more recent sightings. Uh, 2004 commercial fisherman uh, reported several of his fishing nets, nets, nets on Lake Manitoba near the narrows one day to be torn up by what seemed to be like one an day. ocean shark or killer whale uh, the fish that were in his nets were not nibbled but actually torn in half by what seemed like huge bites this is an anytime anything's torn it's a bad sign yeah yeah that was in 04 uh 09 several residents of twin lakes beach reported seeing s several humps a few hundred yards from their lakefront cottages and then 2011 was many sightings of several humps emerging then em emerging then submerging seen offshore locations uh like marshy point scotch bay La laurentia bay by security patrolling the flooded cottage in some of the home areas. So that's what I have today on the pogos. They're oh, all. Goes, oh, they're goes. all. Now you're gonna do some cool pogo stick tricks. Yeah, I'm gonna do cool pogo stick tricks now. No, so so they're all just like a a terrible sea snake. Is basically what they are. And sometimes they're sometimes they attack stuff, like nets and all those fish in those nets. Ugh. I mean that's smart. If I was a sea yeah. serpent and somebody had a fishing net full oh, of fish, easy pickings. I'm going after it. Going after it. I would. I would. It's easy. I would go. Hey, that's can funny. I can I move to the ocean? I'm just gonna start shopping at these crab traps. I literally went to Wendy's. Three hours ago, it's mm -hmm. the human version of of fish nets. Mm -hmm. They've got the food ready for you. Yeah, you just show up. And they trap you because you're gonna come back and you're gonna go get more Wendy's. <laughs> oh my goodness! It's, that's that's all I have for today. I can like talk about plesiosaurs. Why do you? But that's no oh, no. Oh no! But yeah, that's all I've I've got for the day. Uh, Don't you get in that basket? I, you, you, listen, you can't tell a cat what to do. He's gonna go open the laundry room now. <laughs> I guess. Okay. Look at those weird, like collapsing, like fold oh, doors. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he's so fat that if he leans up on it, it'll just collapse, and then he can go into the room. <laughs> Oh, and there's a cabinet in the kitchen that is old, and the bottom of it is a little like stuck out. Mm -hmm. And the AT and T man was here, and uh, the cats wanted nothing to do with it. So I walked into the kitchen and I watched the fat one like <laughs> just pull the door open, just pull the door open, and just bolt into the cabinets. Perfect. Did not see him for an hour and a half. <laughs> Ugh. Didn't you go back to Florida? What happened this time? 
I mean, I did no, no, nothing really. I didn't have any Florida encounters. Uh, I didn't. Yeah, no, nothing really look happened. How, before. We were look at how round he is. Mm-hmm. It's so it's so it's so interesting out there too. Oh. There's chipmunks. Oh, that'll do it. That'll do it. As if he could catch anything. Damn. You got. That's a shit. Yeah, no, there was no like we just did softball. There no, uh, no, no swamp. Animals. Oh no! This past week, I'm sorry. This past week, we were at South Carolina. We're at the University of South Carolina. Uh, doing doing stuff there. And it was uh, up there. Yeah, it was kind of chilly. That's that's South Carolina you, uh, for you. There was a train track you, uh, by the field, uh, and it was loud as hell. That's cool. Yeah, Jacob was loving it. I bet. Yeah, yeah. He. he that's a man that loves him some trains. Mm-hmm, he sure does. Oh, you do you do something? I'm doing something. Okay. Um. So, majority of Lake you Monster. You didn't course. see. You didn't see the lizard man of Scape or Swamp. And what? The oh, lizard man. Did you, oh, you googled something now. <laughs> yeah. I think we, I think I covered this one as well. I think so. I feel like that's a thing we talked about. Um, uh, Destination, Destination Truth did something about it. Most lake monsters are from Canada, though. In case you were wondering, most most lake monsters are <laughs> Canadian. <laughs> yeah, we covered that. Yeah. Oh no! Oh no! He's giggling profusely. <laughs> what, on <laughs> what on earth? <laughs> uh, so it's like someone in a Godzilla outfit or like or like a velociraptor from Jurassic World or something I don't know it's so buff it's so buff I just heard the cabinet open uh oh. Super cats. It is so buff. Oh my god. I'm gonna pull up this. Oh yeah, this Ogopogo sighting that you sent through. Yeah, it's a, it's a big video. What the fuck is that thing? Oh, we got off track real quick there. Mm hmm. See, you can see the see them the humps coming through. They they've done so many shows about all these. Oh yeah, and it's and it's like you can you can always like find something out there. No matter no matter. Like they did, one of the shows did like they pulled like a log on a stick behind a boat, kind of thing. Oh yes, was that MythBusters? I don't know. I think the problem that they that they came up with was the fact that it was on like clear water most of the time. No, like, like, like on smooth water, not on top travel. Like yeah. 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 That makes sense. And that's what makes it stand out so much. Um, I think that's it. Uh, uh Africa and Japan uh have the most variation in their lake monsters though. So we may have to look into some some of those for bringing up different kinds. Cuz I know yeah. I know we've got a lot of like Nessie style ones in there that I can group together. Uh, and we're gonna see see what kind of oddballs we can find that are fun. <laughs> That's all I have for today.
Sorry, I'm freaking out. I keep hearing noises, and I swear I just saw someone walk. Yeah, I saw somebody walk by. I don't think Audrey's home yet. So, someone's just breaking in, just <laughs> stealing everything. I'm sitting here laughing about this picture of this stupid fucking lizard. Ugh. So thank you so much for listening to this episode of My Neighbor Mothman. Or watching. Or watching. Or watching. Or both. Or both. Um, you can see every episode as it gets uploaded. Uh, as a marathon of them are being uploaded right now. Over on the Board Nerds YouTube channel. Uh, we've got until 4 p.m. tomorrow. And they'll all be up. And then this one will go up uh, next week. I haven't decided what day of the week yet. I'm putting it up on. I put the I put the audio up. Bless you. I put the audio Thank up you. on uh, Monday, so I'm thinking maybe doing like a Friday, Monday Friday release thing, so the video That's version goes up on Friday. You get a little week early. You listen to it on podcast platform. That seems that seems fine to me. Um, you can watch us record this live by going to twitch.tv slash skeleton crew gaming and you can you watch can, uh... our gaming content over on the big brown couch gaming YouTube channel you can interact with us on Twitter mm-hmm. uh, the show is at mothman podcast I am on Twitter at baby mothman these two, these two accounts, severely different. Yeah, De- definitely. One account day and doesn't night. get posted to a lot, and when it does, most of the time it's stuff that I think is kind of funny. <laughs> now the other one, the other one is literally anything that even gets like a like a. Ooh, I'd love to. I'd I'd think about smirking about this. Yeah. Boom. Put it on the account. Yep. Who cares? And I'll let you figure out which one is which. Uh, I think the Board Nerds channel has a Twitter account as well. I think so because I think you retweet it. Probably. The Big Brown Couch channel definitely does, but again, that's just a repost spot. Whenever a video goes up. Um, you can follow Coralie, who did our artwork. Yeah. Uh, on Twitter, at Lychan underscore. I got to get that in, like integrated into our little like uh, live screen, I think. Like on Twitch. Like un- un- maybe under our chat box or something over there. I'm just looking at it on my other monitor. Idea. Yeah. Yeah, sorry. I, was, I just Googled Board Nerd Twitter. Mm-hmm. And uh, found an board nerds account. show it might be board nerds show, yeah. But I found an NFT account, and now I'm really I'm oh, really that doesn't sad. surprise me. Well, I can't type, we're getting sidetracked. Yeah, we are. Uh, you can find me on Twitter at Levi Carver, L E V I S C A R V E R. Yeah, board nerds show over on Twitter. Uh, I retweeted one of the posts in December from that account. Um, you can also follow t- TikTok Levi. Yeah, TikTok Levi same... is that me? Is, is that the same one? Yeah. L e v i s c a r v r. Yeah, that's that's me over ticking and talking. Haven't haven't uploaded anything. Oh my gosh! Excuse me. Is that a little empty behind you? No. Oh. These are freshies. I got the. Are you keeping them warm? No, no, no. I've got the rest in the fridge. I just put some in the background because I thought it looked nice. Okay, it does. It just worried me for a second that you were just that ripping just them drink, warm. Yeah, w- room temperature energy drinks. Don't be ridiculous. I mean, my brother will. My brother exclusively drinks room temperature soda. That's. I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm sorry. He also for, enjoys sorry parties for, for lunch. 
<laughs> Man, Hardy's, Hardy's for lunch all the time. Oh no. Hardy's is good, but Hardy's breakfast delicious. Hardy's breakfast great. It, the, we can't we can't keep going. We can't keep going on it. Uh, what other stuff do we have? Boardnerds.store uh -huh. for merchandise for our oh, fabulous good. merchandise. We've got we've got the who's that cryptid number one up in the store right now. I'm I'm pulling the site up. I I had another shirt idea, but my brain made it go away at some point. We're gonna do a we're gonna do a spotlight. Oh. We're going on the uh oh. Oh. We're on the move. Oh. I don't know if it's gonna focus. It's a little blown out, but uh, is that better? It's it's better. It's a, you get the idea. It's blurry. Yeah, no, I I mean I can fully see it. Yeah, I can see what's going on. Yeah, you get the general. Yeah, that further. No, I'm, I should go I'm, in and I blur think... the T-shirt. No, I'm <laughs> saying I can see my what my camera was showing. I knew that it was blurry, Levi. Yeah. yeah, that was no, the no, bit. No. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. We, I should go in and make the shirt blurry. <laughs> okay, sorry. All right, we got a white one. <laughs> this is good. <laughs> it's better. Yeah, it's much better. <laughs> that oh. was just, that was just for the for the uh, watchers of the podcast. Was it? Oh. Oh. I think I think I just saw the reflection of me moving in, in the door. The background. <laughs> I got scared again. Um, I, all this stuff. I think that's I think that's everybody. Oh, except. Oh, how could obviously? We how could we forget? How could we forget? We've talked about it four different times. How could we forget new energy, and how we, we both love used code Mothman fifteen to get fifteen percent off. Our sure citrus do. burst. I haven't had coffee in a week and a half. This right. doesn't have dairy in it, so I don't have to take a pill yeah. to wake up. It's also vegan free and gluten free. Well, yeah, of course it's vegan free. They didn't chop up any vegans and put it in there. It's vegan friendly. It's it's also vegan free. <laughs> we don't know that. It's true. It doesn't, well, it's vegan friendly. It must be vegan free. Zero sugar. Zero sugar, not sticky. That's what I've. If nothing else, with ten cap. Buy noob. I have to go up and manually. Oh, do, are we doing? Are we doing? I have this to go again? up and manually focus, so I can't do that. Um, if nothing else, drink noob because oh no, because they taught me that sugar is what makes things sticky. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's important to know. It is important to know. I've every now and then I'll spill something and I'll go, wait, whoa, whoa, is that sugar in it? No, not sticky. Is it a diet? I soda? know that now. Mm, no problem. No problems if it's a diet soda. That aspartame is not sticky. Just it is, just it, is it the bottle? Brain. <laughs> is it the empty bottle of cranberry juice that I used to fill up my Brita? No sugar left in that. <laughs> it's got Brita written on it for some reason. Oh, in case someone was gonna walk into the kitchen and go, "Oh, this empty cranberry juice bottle," I'm put liquor in it. <laughs> now they know. Now they pick it up. They go, "Whoa, whoa, 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 whoa. This was for the Brita." Clearly, and I'm also having feet problems, so I have a little foot bath. Wow. There's, so there's an yeah, there's a different empty cranberry juice bottle <laughs> that's, 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 that's in the in the bath. bedroom. This is foot bath. <laughs> I don't know why it matters. <laughs> you don't want to. You don't want to get foot bath water in your Brita. It's not like I'm putting the foot bath water back in the bottle. <laughs> yeah, it's not like these could just be you taking the I'm item not, over I'm to the not sink. Del Def Delphine, I'm not packaging it and selling it. <laughs> Who's stopping you? <laughs> What's the market? What's the market share on that? <laughs> I fill up the foot bath, I put my feet in it, I feel good for 20 minutes, and then I pour it in the shower. <sighs> I'm going to get yelled at about this for sure. Yeah. 
<laughs> don't, don't pray. He says Brita, so nobody throws it away. <laughs> uh, you know, it'll be fine, I'm sure. Oh no, I'll have to go buy another empty cranberry juice bottle. <laughs> just no, I won't, because I have put that one. Where do you buy empty ones? <laughs> Look, Levi, shut up. <laughs> Uh, I just sit. I just sit outside Publix, and I've got a sign. All right, I've got to end this. Two dollars if you chug. No, <laughs> I'll pay you two dollars if you chug that pretty berry juice. <laughs> then give me the bottle. I don't. I don't like this. <laughs> I don't like that at all. Yeah, I don't like the thought of chugging cranberry juice. Yeah. No. That's gonna. That that'll ruin your whole day. End the video. <laughs> yeah. End it. Yeah. I have to go pee.